Today I'll be doing a 5 inch Schedule 40 F5G 6010 root 7018 filling cap. For this I like to have a 332 landing on my pipe as you can see. I also like to use a blade as a spacer. I usually use two techs, one at 12 and one at 6 o'clock. This is all you pretty much need. Whenever I start, I usually start on the side that has the best gap. Uh, as you see on the left side right here, I have a better gap than on my right side. It's pretty tight, so I'll try to do the left side first to see if it's going to open up a little bit. If not, I'll have to use a metabo to cut it. I also won't be using a remote. Usually people use a remote for this, but today I will be doing no remote. Um, you should be able to do everything at 80. That's what I used, and we're going to keep it at that. I'll show you how to do a root in a pipe without having to use a remote. Whenever you start, you want to start off about a quarter inch before your tack, so you give it enough time to heat up. So whenever you drag it down, it just slides right in. Like I said, I'm using 80 amps, 1 8 rod. It's all you're pretty much going to need, and once you get in there, just start sliding it in. 80 amps so to just let you slide it in real easy, and just drag it on down. As you can see right here, just keep pushing the rod in and dragging at the same time. You know you're doing a good route when all the flames are inside the pipe and you can barely have any flames coming out. As you can see right here, I start getting some flames out and that's because my gap is closing up. Now if I had a remote, all I would have to do is turn it up about 10 and I will keep pushing that route in there. But since I don't have a remote, I had to stop and this is what you could do. Uh, you grab a metabol disc and you just slide it right in there to open that gap up a little bit more. I have a good gap once again, so all you have to do is start right back up, remember, a quarter inch behind the tack, heat it up, drag it all the way down, and start pushing in. Do not ever forget to push in, and like I said, as long as you see all the flames will spark inside the pipe, that means you're beating a nice root and everything is going in there. At the bottom, you want to make sure you're pushing it in so it doesn't come out too flushed, and like I said, just keep pushing it in, dragging it down until you reach your tie-in. Once you tie it in, just keep pushing it in and keep dragging it on about a quarter inch. I went ahead and finished all the left side of the root. I jumped to my right side and the gap was still closed, so I'll have to do the same process. Grab a metabo, stick it in, just slide it all the way down and open that gap up again. Like I said, if we had a remote, it would be much easier. You wouldn't have to do all that. As you can see, I have everything back open again. I have a good gap in there. I went ahead and grabbed the 1-8 disc and just thinned out the wall. Same thing, just drag it down all the way down the middle and thin out the wall. I went ahead and grinded all my bead. I'm doing my hot pass at 105 amps with the 1 8 60 10 still. The method that I use is circular form. I do circles and I travel all the way down. As you can see, whipping it back to the front, from the front to the back, front, back. I do circles all the way down. Hit. Make sure you hit the left and the right wall whenever you're doing it and you slowly travel down. I ran my hot pass. This is pretty much what you want it to look like. Like I said, I use 105 amps. 
circles all the way down and this is kind of like what you want your pipe to look like you know you're not over flush still and it's beating all the way down nice circular form I'm gonna do another pass of 60-10 to flush it out. Like I said, one eighth. This time I'm gonna go up five to 110 amps and I'm gonna just do the same exact method. Circles all the way down. With this pass, we should be ready to cap. It should leave it nice and flush. Make sure you're not over flush if you are. You could just grind it down a little bit, but you shouldn't be over flushed if you use the same method I did. I got everything buffed off, cleaned up, and as you can see, everything is in there. I'm ready to cap. I'm not over flushed. It's completely flushed evenly throughout the whole pipe. Like I said before, if you do, or if you are over flushed, just hit it up with the grinding wheel and uh, grind it back down. You don't want it. You don't want your uh, fill to have too much metal. If not, your cap will not come out that good. I'm using the 332 7018 at 80 amps. And that's all you will need. You might want to go up five after you run half of the pipe just to give it some good fusion. method to cap is uh, using Z's as you can see it seems like I'm doing a Z traveling uphill and that's what I do through the whole pipe from left to right I do a slight pause on the sides to give it enough metal to build up so you get a nice fat cap on there you don't want it too fat but it gives it a nice bead you'll be able to see it at the end of the video but yeah just do Z's all the way up and it will look real nice at the end up as you can see the slag just comes right out the machine set perfect I fenders it off at 85 amps remember 80 from 6 to about 9 then you can crank it up 5 you can even crank it up 10 I just did 5 but it's all up to you as you can see right here everything looks really good I'm not over flushed the width is perfect this is the root right here as you can tell I have a pretty good bead in there everything looks good and I'm pretty sure it will shoot x-ray I hope you all enjoyed this video. I will be posting every week, so please don't forget to subscribe. If you liked the video or, or it was helpful to you, please hit the like button. Thanks for watching. See y'all next time.